Good morning, kids. I'm my first warning meteorologist, Jennifer Ketchmark. I want to take a weather lesson straight from something that happened last night. Did you hear this sound last night? Yeah, the tornado siren. It can be something that honestly makes you scared. My own daughter was pretty frightened last night whenever she heard that sound. We live in Boone County and those outdoor warning sirens are designed to be heard primarily outside. Now, they're so loud, of course, that noise does make it into our homes, but do know if you didn't hear that siren, maybe a neighbor did, you need to always have something to alert you that is technically not this thing. That's why we recommend weather radios and storm apps to get you that information. But it's not just as easy as, okay, the sirens went off. When we get a, a tornado warning, the National Weather Service gives us what we call a polygon. So it specifically shows us where it's at and then who is in the path of the storm. Like last night, the threat was over Hebron, Cheviot, and Cleves. But how many of you beyond those towns heard the sirens? Why was that? Here's the thing, both Hamilton and Boone County, they both, if they're even a little bit of the county is included in that tornado warning, the whole county sounds the alarm. Now, I know for those of us like in Union last night, we were totally in the clear and we were able to make that adjustment, but it can be a little confusing. So how do you guys find out if you're in the clear or not? Number one, turn on the TV. The weather professionals, whether you're here in Cincinnati and you're watching WCPO9 or anywhere across the country, your weather professionals and meteorologists are going to tell you who is directly in the path and who is really in the clear, but even a weather app like Storm Shield, you can zoom in and see where that is going or listen to that weather radio. I know it can be a little complicated, but hopefully you learned a little something extra this morning when it comes to understanding tornado sirens. That's all for this week. I'll be back on Monday and next week we're going to focus on fronts and how storms develop.